guys, what's going on? Yoki here. Welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 21 career mode here with Villarreal. And the only way to kick this one off is looking at the young German style at Karim Adeyemi, who has kicked off the season with four starts, four goals, three assists. He's absolutely been on fire. If you've watched the recent episodes at the start of the season, he's been brilliant, but he will be missing for his first game today against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. But we shouldn't worry too much because he's not the only player that's been on fire at the start of the season. Alvaro Morata, three appearances, four goals, three assists. If those two keep this form up this year, we will be absolutely fine. Really important that we get off to a good start in this one. This is a very, very tough Champions League group. There's no doubt about it about it when you've got Juve and Dortmund in your group it's going to be difficult plus a difficult away trip to Lokomotiv Moscow isn't going to make it any easier so I'd love to get off to a great start and a great start in this episode by you guys smashing that subscribe button we are what like 50 away now for 1k like 50 away can you believe it we're so close to 1k I can taste it let's get into this episode and let's try and keep Erling Haaland as quiet as possible we've not been too bad as a side on German soil so I'm hoping that theme is going to continue itself in this one I'm really hoping that that theme is going to continue itself in this one we've done well against the German sides in the Champions League and in the Europa League as well in the past let's see if we can do that again today Anaki Williams he'll be used to this Dortmund team after playing for Leipzig I'm hoping he can get his first goal for the club today Haaland coming forward now there's no one there to stop him Haaland fires off the shot and scores I thought I was going to get the block in there with Marcos Acuna it wasn't to be and Erling Haaland just like that makes it 1-0 Dortmund and not the start that we wanted here well they made a mistake there and Anaki Williams might be played in behind here for his first goal for the club, but it's saved by Berkey. Robertone now has got space. Waiting for the runner, Morata. Morata's been clinical so far. Is this the moment for Alvaro Morata to fire us into a draw, not into the lead? Saved again by Berkey. Jaguese there. He's found Gaspar. Gaspar will pull that back across. Oh, he couldn't play it forward. Chuck Ways ended up picking up the ball, though. We're going to play in Alvarez here for a goal. Oh, it's saved by Berkey Morata. There we go. Back on level pegging. Alvaro Morata with the goal. I thought Alvarez was going to score it. I'm not going to lie. I thought Alvarez went clean through there. It was a beautiful pass to him. I thought he'd managed to finish it. Wasn't calm, cool, and collected enough, was he, in the end? Luckily for us... Alvaro Morata's little poacher instincts there. And again, he fires that one in. Rocket. Beautiful finish. All level here at half time. Thanks to that tap in by Alvaro Morata. Unlucky for Alvarez there, to be fair. It could have been a great opportunity for him. Haaland opened the scoring, though, in the eighth minute. We've got to be cautious here. A draw would be a good result. Dread Delayafeu now. Finds Alvaro Morata. to try and lift that one in towards Anaki Williams and use the height that he's got. Didn't quite work out for us. Maybe I should have whipped that one in. I just thought he had the height advantage. You see there, Thomas Suchek has gone to PSG from West Ham. That's a good fee as well. 61 million. Reina. Usman IR. Getting a ball off them is not easy here. Oh, it's a great ball into Haaland. And I don't know what the goalkeeper's done there. That is shocking from the keeper. And Erling Haaland, just like that, makes it 2-1. We couldn't get the ball back off of Dortmund. I don't know what the keeper's done there. I'm intrigued to see what the keeper's actually doing in this situation. The ball comes back to Haaland. I don't know what the keeper's done there. Looks like he's tried to save it. I, he's gone. He's nowhere near it. Well, the keeper's been regularly good for us. But I'm not too sure about this one here. Haaland hits it low. I, I don't know what the keeper's trying to do there. Stick your leg out. He's, he's absolutely nowhere near that. That's that's a howler. We'll have a corner here. Could do up with it. Varo Morata's up for it. He's hit the crossbar. I tell you what, he's a problem from corners. Samakam's brought down potentially. No. Morata's going to be a problem from corners. That's a great header. Samakam stayed down as well there, which is very worrying for us. We need, uh, we need to get bodies back. We're missing a centre-back here. Oh, we've had a howler. We've had a howler and so has Samakam. We've thrown this game away, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely thrown this game away. Jaden Sancho gets a goal, but it'll be one of the easier goals he scores. You'll see here by Lafont, he collects it. He throws it to Samakam for some strange reason. While there's three Dortmund players there, Sancho gets the ball easy. And I would chalk that down to two big mistakes now from Lafont. Morata now tries to find Robert Tone. 
Rubatone tries to slide that through to Anaki Williams. This could be a good opportunity. He scores it. And there is enough time left in this match. P pick up the book. Celebrate. Celebrate, Anaki. There is enough time left in this match for us to go on and win it. There really is. Not to go on and win it. Sorry, to go on and equalise. Can we make this 3-3? That's a good bit of play, that. That was really good from the team. Couldn't be happier into Robertone. Robertone's ball to Anaki William was great. That's his first goal for the club. This is last chance saloon here. Robertone's done really well. He's going to out wide to Anaki Williams. Anaki's going to try and whip it across. There's not much time left in this game. I don't know what Felipe Anderson has done there. He's absolutely played us into trouble. We can't win the ball back. Shocking from Felipe Anderson. There we have it. 3 2 victory for Dortmund. And this one today is pretty much down to individual errors. Felipe Anderson there when we're on the attack, giving a ball away. We can't forget as well, Lafont, who's been really good for us. Two major mistakes there in that game. Two major mistakes that led to goals. And this one's going to finish 3-2. Dortmund take all three points here on match day one in the Champions League. It's always going to be frustrating to concede three, but when you concede all three on target, all three shots that Dortmund had in the entire match, it's infuriating. We need to nail down those mistakes. We made it too easy for Dortmund today. There's one player returns here, another player's injured, but luckily for us, again, it's only a bruised shoulder that will keep Samakam out for five days. So he only misses this one game against Sociedad. This will be the starting 11 for that Sociedad game, of course. We've got a couple of tired players, but Adeyemi comes straight back in after injury. I was happy that Anaki Williams scored his first goal, but he hasn't quite had the impact that I would have wanted. So far, I'm sure he will grow into this system. It's a strong team. Let's hopefully go and pick up a win the first of this episode after that poor defeat to Dortmund. Since he's put through a great ball there, and then another one to Dominic Calvert-Lewin for 1-0 Real Sociedad. And there we go. We go down really early again. Really, really early again. There's some questions needing to be asked of this Villarreal side. There's no way we win the league if we keep playing like this this season. It's certainly going to take a fourth. We were just cut open so easy. There was no one there. Pau Torres did not track the run. It's a good finish. Oh, coming forward again. Nearly 2-0 already. I don't know what's happening at the back. I really don't know what's happening at the back. But they cut us open so easy there, and that's a great save from Lafont. He really does need to redeem himself after the last game. That save keeps us, isn't it? And he may now. Wanted Cuisson to keep making his run. Cuisson did. Can he score? Yes, he can. And just like that, it's 1 1. Beautiful bit of football from the boys. Great assist again for your Adi Aime. And Michael Cuisson carried his run, and we needed him to. Perfect in the end. Beautiful finish. And he may takes that nicely. He's got runners either side. He's got Michael Cuisance again. Oh, he's going to find Michael Cuisance as well for two. It's near enough for carbon copy. Hadi Aime picks out the pass again. Cuisance finds the back of the net. And number eight here is running riot. That is 2-1 now, Villarreal. Exactly what we need. And we're in the lead. Pass lack finds Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Oh, that's great from Pau Torres. Finally, our defence stands up to be noticed. Finally, our defence stands up to be noticed. Gerard Delafeu now. He's got runners. Is he going to play in Alvaro Morata? He is. Morata. What a finish. Is he offside? Though he is. It's a shame. It is a crying shame because that is some finish there for Morata. Just watch this back. He, he, he is. It's his first offside of the season, though. I've got to give him that. Oh, it doesn't show us the finish back. What a hit that was. Well, we've got bad news here. Quisance has gone down and he's stayed down. And after such a good performance, the kid's on a hat trick. Looks like he might have to come off the pitch here with a free kick right at the end of the half here. But Michael Cuisance is still struggling. And my problem is, is where he's holding it. It looks like it could be a collarbone problem. It really does. We might have to bring him off in his second half. But there we go. That is the end of the half. 2-1 the lead for Villarreal in the yellow submarine. Unfortunately, an early goal conceded again. A poor early goal conceded again. You really need to batten down the hatches a little bit more defensively. Good ball forward to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Pau Torres doing well on him, though. Oh, he's managed to play it back. And Pau Torres with a block. Vecinio did really well to keep that in. And he's found Adeyemi as well. Oh, he's well saved. Bad news here. A foul committed. And Alvaro Morata went down. And the referee just didn't do anything. He's still down on the ground. We're finally going to be able to get him off. That's three injuries in two games here. And some big ones as well. We're going to be in trouble. Vlahovic is going to come on, I believe. Have we got Vlahovic? No, sorry. It's going to be Anaki Williams. We're going to make a few changes, actually, at this stage. 
Get some fresh legs on the pitch. Oh, I'm out of subs. Get some fresh legs on the pitch, but that is not good news. Coquelin now. Holds the ball up nicely. That's a ball to Adeyemi. What a pass. Oh, the flag's up. It's going to be two offside goals in this one for us. Oh, unlucky. Morata's earlier on. I think this one was a bit further off than Morata's. They were both fairly close decisions. 2-1 the result in the end after conceding very early. A couple of offside goals, but the biggest worry in that one is the two injuries that we've suffered. Let's hope that they're not too impactful on this season and they're not going to be for too long. Here's hoping here that the news is going to be just a couple of five-day injuries, but that is the news. I did not want to be reading. Lads, seven months out for our record striker, Alvaro Morata. Vlahovic is going to be chucked in the deep end here. And five days for Cuisson, so that's not too bad. But seven months for Alvaro Morata. And that is why it was so important to go out there and get the, third, uh, the fourth striker. So important. Morata now. Oh, that's a devastating blow. This is going to be the starting 11 for the Real Valladolid game. We've rotated a little bit, of course, with it being Valladolid. And I think we've got a Champions League game coming straight after this game. Vlahovic will get his first start. Jeremy gets a start for the club as well. Oh, Matsima coming in at the back as well. Pau Torres will be rested. Abe comes in. Just so, so gutted about that Alvaro Morata injury, man. These things happen in football. They really do, but... He was the key this season, I think, for maybe us to have a title challenge and do well in the Champions League. The fact that he's going to miss seven months, pretty much missed the entire season. We are in trouble. Hopefully, a Naki Williams can pick up the slack because he's not been scoring enough at the moment. Early free kick for Valladolid. And there's one thing we just really don't want to do in this match, and that's concede really early to Valladolid as they loft that one in. The font's a little bit frustrated with the defence, so potentially the wall there. I mean, it wasn't ever really a threat, but it was looping. What could Valladolid do with a resulting corner kick? And it's just dragged wide by Oscar Plano. Not far off that. Nervy moments because we've got to change the back line. Matsima's getting some game time. And I have no idea what's going to happen when it comes to that back line, to be honest with you at the moment. Considering how many goals we've shipped the early stage of the season here. I don't have a clue what's going to happen. Oh, Anaki Williams has done brilliantly there. Anaki Williams still has it. He's going to try and pull it across. He couldn't. Maybe he would have wanted the free kick there. Jeremy now. Going to whip that one in. Matsima. Oh, what a volley from Matsima. Great ball in from Jeremy. The last person you expect to be banging on a volley. That's not a bad one as well, you know. That's not a bad one as well. Plays that back to Jeremy. Hoping for a good game from Jeremy, to be honest. The problem is here is the space they're giving us. Very, very minimal. And Aki Williams, Vlahovic. Oh, that's beautiful. And Abe drags it wide. That was beautiful football. And Abe will be kicking himself. He sliced it. He sliced it. He was definitely going for the bottom corner on the other side of the net. And he's absolutely sliced that one. Well, that wider. And then lofted in nicely. Oh, nearly 1 0. And there it is. Fallen asleep at the back there, maybe Matsima. What a ball across. 1 0, valid lead, just like that. Every time we're conceding here, we're going down early and we've struggled to break them down. I'm not sure we will be able to. We could be heading for a very poor defeat here. Oh, Matsima's got to react to that second ball quicker. And Aki Williams, but look at how many bodies they've got back in the box. It's near impossible for us to find a breakthrough. Jeremy, that's not bad footwork, but he can't find his shot. And I, I, at the moment, I just can't break them down, and they've taken the lead. Very troubling times for us this season so far. I have to be honest with you. I am worried. They, uh, Dusan Vlahovic done absolutely nothing so far in this game as well. 13 touches. He's been very poor. Oh, coming forward now. Real Valor, the lead, and what a save from Lafont. Go, oh, we're plotting our own downfall, aren't we, boys? What a save from Lafont. A oh, great ball to Vecinio now. But Vlahovic didn't really make a run, did he? Arbe's making a run, though. It's got to be better this time from Arbe. And he hits the target, but it's well saved. We'll whip the corner in. Going to go towards Anaki Williams, who gets us right back into the game. Big moment, that, from Anaki Williams. We needed it as well. Now that Morata's going to be out, Anaki needs to have an unbelievable season for us. 
It's a nice headed finish. Oh, well stolen that. Plays in Vlahovic. This is a great opportunity for Vlahovic. Fires off the shot. Well saved. He took himself down a really awkward angle. But at least we're putting the pressure on Valladolid now. Abe. Robertone. Nice footwork. Robertone. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Underside of the crossbar and back out. Lovely play by Robertone. Oh, this is nice again now. Abe tries to fire it across to Robertone and it just wasn't good enough. Abe now doing really well here. Great run from him. He'll pull it back, surely. He does pull it back. He finds Robertone. Robertone to Anaki Williams for the winner. And Anaki Williams has not hit that well enough. Oh, Draxler's done brilliantly. Fires it across. Abe's making the run. This for the winner. Abe wins the game, surely, for Villarreal. He should have scored earlier. Let's be honest with ourselves. He's had a few opportunities. Anaki Williams with the assist and a goal in this one. And that is a massive, boys. Absolutely massive. What a moment. There was space for him to run into, and this time he does slot it home. Woo, a 2-1, and we rescue yet another game here in the league. I apologise. I apologise. I said Arbe. It wasn't Arbe. That was Marcos Acuna getting up there from left back. From left back, that was Marcos Acuna with the goal. Well, we get lucky again, boys. We get very, very lucky again. Valid the lead in the second half. We ran riot. It should have been far more than what it was. We weren't clinical enough. But a pretty decent performance from Anaki Williams in the end when we needed it. An assist and a goal. Marcos Acuna with that finish as well. What a finish. And we'll take that. We're rescuing points at the moment. Bit of rotation in this one due to tired legs. This is where the fact that we lose Alvaro Morata kind of stops us playing the two up top formation every single game. But we've got more than enough players to suit this style of play. It's a very strong team. None the least, we need to get our first three points on the boards here in the Champions League. Without a doubt, Locomotive managed to draw with Juve. So we ain't sleeping on them. They're not going to be easy. This is good play already. Cuisance will be very happy to be back in the team. Oh, they... What are they doing? Giving Adeyemi all the space in the world. Adeyemi makes it 1-0. I don't know what they did there. I don't know what they were doing at the back. I do not care, though, because we make it 1-0 here with Adeyemi. Happy days, man. I don't know why I said it like that either. I do apologise. don't know why we said it like that. But what a goal. What a finish. The defence just seemed to part. I, I'm guessing they were worried about other runners. I'm guessing he was worried about Chuck Weze, was the uh, was the left back, but... Ended up being very easy for Adi Aime, that one. Free kick for Locomotive. They will just knock it in. It wasn't a bad ball in either, was it? It was a good opportunity. We need to get smarter this year at playing with a ball from the back. A lot smarter. That was nice. They are really pressing us in this game, but the problem is, as soon as they press us, they're leaving us a lot of space as well in behind because of the press. Adi Aime there, if he's clever, and he is clever, Michael Cuisons! What a save! From Schlager. What a save. Thought that was going to be 2 0. I definitely thought it was going to be 2 0. Freshly back from injury. But like I say, they're giving us a lot of space with how much they're pressing the back line. Chuck Weze now collects that nicely. Draxler is running. Draxler is scoring, surely. Draxler is scoring. There we go. 2 0. The lead we needed. We might actually be able to rip locomotive apart here they're giving us way too much space in the center of the park i'm shocked to be honest with you i thought they'd be really defensively solid like valid the lead was not the case locomotive are giving tons and tons of space an easy ball for adi Aime to play beautiful finish from draxler a good ball forward here you know vestigard does a really good job though vicinio's back as well a goal back will give them a big boost and how has lafont let that go past him this is not LaFont's episode, is it? This is not LaFont's episode. How's he let that go past him there at the near post? I have no idea how. But it's just... It's been placed in lovely, but LaFont cannot be getting beaten there. They're keeping the ball moving nicely. Can he equalise just before half-time? Yannick Vestergaard cuts the ball out. We get very, very lucky again there. Although this could be a breakaway. Draxler's going to be on it. What can he do now, Draxler? He needs Cuisance, doesn't he? He's not Cuisance, Chuck Weze. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Chuck Weze hits the crossbar. And then Vizzinio with a follow-up is blocked. We managed to concede again in another match. We're conceding a lot of goals already this season, which is a little bit worrying. But in the crossbar there right at the end of the half, it should have been 3-1. We need to get a third, I think. 
We'll take the lead, though, at half-time. We're changed here for Locomotive. I'd love to tell you who they've brought on, but number 92's come on for number 88. So, um, yeah, not a clue. I'm, I'm a big auto number guy on Football Manager, but even I think those numbers are crazy. This could be good play, though. This could be very good play. Mozo. Back to Chuck Waze. Interesting touch. Interesting touch. He's still got it. Oh, what a finish. What a finish from Samuel Chuck Waze. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That is fantastic. He kind of really came to the forefront towards the back end of last season. And he started this season very strong. And this is a good finish from him. I thought his touch had got away from him. It's a lovely finish in the end, though. Curls that. Keeper doesn't stand a chance. Oh, good play inside. And what a finish. Kamano gets the goal. And it's 3-2. And this one is still wide open. And we were wide open there at the back, weren't we? Sloppy ball given away, Rayleigh, to be honest with you, on the offense. What a pass that is. What a finish that is. Alvarez now. Oh, this is good play. Oh, that's beautiful play. Chuck Waze, what can he do? Needs to lift it across to Felipe Anderson, who scores. I wasn't sure he was going to score it. It was the header. I thought he was going to try and volley it. I've got to be honest with you. He scored a volley like that earlier in the season. I thought he was going to try and volley it there. And that's Locomotive done. What an intense match this has been. It's a great ball in by Chuck Ways. A perfect ball to him. And he just dinks the header. And I think the goalkeeper's probably got to do better there. He'll be kicking himself to get a hand on it. And he kind of just helped it into the back of the net to a degree there. Didn't he get his hand to it? And maybe too much power on it. Great whip from Chuck Ways. 4-2 the final result here. Again, the back line, though, we've got to be asking questions to that back line. But free-flowing, great scoring, as per usual from us. Felipe Anderson capped it off with a goal at the end. Good performance, just a little bit worried about the back line and a little bit worried about Lafont. He looked brilliant last year. He still made some good saves this season, but he's made a couple of shocking mistakes as well at the same point. Decent result, all in all, in the end, and we are still top of the league. Now... There is a lot of action in the games. There is a lot of goals in the games. I do have the sliders in favour of there being more goals, especially the opposition allowing them. I've got their run frequency up, so allowing them to score more goals is really what I'm trying to trying to achieve. And with them pushing more bodies forward, it does give us more space in behind to score as well. So we are seeing more high-scoring games, but I think for the entertainment factor, I'll leave the sliders where they are. I think it makes it far more entertaining seeing a lot of goals. Anyway, boys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. A few, I mean, big injuries, right? The big one, Murata. How are we going to do with him out? Can we really challenge for the title and for the Champions League with that man out for the majority of the season? Adeyemi may certainly picking up the slack and doing a great job for us. But I, I think we really do struggle without having Morata. It looked like him and Adeyemi's partnership was going to be very reminiscent of Moreno's and Ferreira's partnership. And that's what got us to where we were last season. Anyway, boys, if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe button on the road to one. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. I will see you in the next one.